Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I want to uh, update my uh, JSU uh, 891. I found it uh, second hand a few months ago and uh, I found out it had an older firmware. Uh, it is a bit of a risky process I have read because some people uh, have, I saw in forums that they have bricked their device. I'm not sure if they did it right or wrong. So it is risky and even Jesu already says in one of the first lines, or well first they say you need to download all the latest stuff, then you need to read the imported notes. And the first line of the imported notes are all responsibility of the use of this software lies at the customer. So Jesu already put his hands uh, off. They don't want to touch the, any responsibility. Second, there is no change log, so you have no clue what they have improved or if they even did approve something. Well, usually I would hope they have found little things and there are three type of updates that you can do in this firm date package. It is the, the main board, I think it is the DSP and then you have the display. So I will say this again, Jesu is not taking any responsibility. So if you are a little bit unsure of the process and you have no problems with your transceiver, maybe you should not do it. But I still want to get you to the process. So what we need for this update, you need to download the latest universal USB port driver that is built in into the Jesu. So we need that. I'm not risking it if it if it may be, I have so many USB drivers already on my PC, um, but maybe it's just slightly different. So I'm using exactly what they asked me to use, hopefully not messing up with all my other USB, but I will just do that. You need at least Windows 8.1 or up. Well, I have Windows 10 here, latest updates are done, so that is not a problem. You need the proper USB AB cable, so that is this old USB. I have a proper one because I also have very thin one somewhere here, but I thought, no, I want proper cable. I'm not risking anything. I checked also the power cable of the transceiver and uh, that all the connections are really stuck because you don't want your device rebooting while you're trying to do an update. Also, I hopefully, I don't get the power failure, but we don't have, uh, I can't remember we have a power failure here in the house when I not created it myself. So maybe safer is also to have a 12 volt battery on your system, but then you still have to worry about your computer. Can do that maybe on a laptop, but I don't want to go that far. I will just use my PC because I have my PC recorder there also. First, let's see what the firmware we have. Well, I was already reading from the manual. I downloaded the latest version. But uh, from the version that I had, I think was 97 was before. I found three firmwares I used the Wayback Machine to find the older version just because I was interested. So one version was from 2007 and then they had an, another version in 2021, February. And now they had in uh, 2022 in December, they also had the latest firmware. But I think they posted it around the 10th of January in 2023, so that is the latest uh, version. Um, yeah, in the manual here you can see exactly how you can uh, see what firmware you have. So uh, let's have a look. So this is the non-scary part. It is also not... Uh, this is without any risk. You just go to the menu, long push on the function button. Then you need to go to menu 18. I think that is all in the end. Yes, factory reset. So having version 1723 and 11 means that I'm actually here. The very oldest firmware that I could find from 2017. So that means I can still update it to this one and then update it to this one. I don't see anything about that on the website of uh, JSU, but the fact that this one is not available anymore for download. I can probably just skip that step. But uh, no, I, I don't want to skip it. So I will just go to this version. So what we need to do first is uh, download the uh, latest. So we go to products, HF transceivers, go to the 891, and we go to uh, files. And here we find all the firmware. 
the latest one but I'm a bit uh, scared to skip that one so I'm not going to skip it and install first the other one but the procedure will be the same and I just do it twice um, here we have the manual for the firmware and funny enough the driver they put all the way in the bottom here and that should be the latest so we have the driver here okay driver installed it probably works well somehow I had the problem with my uh, PC that it kept crashing out every 30 seconds in my explorer so I didn't want to do the update uh, with my computer so I did it here but um, I found something out about the driver well, on the website of Jesu it, it actually says it correct because if we look here in the bottom here it says universal virtual com driver that is what we need but they also have here the driver virtual com port for Windows 10 11 I downloaded this one in the bottom here it is uh, 3.5 megabytes and that has an installer this one for 10 and 11 doesn't have an installer and in my laptop I tried this one and now I have no problem so I think that this one installed something that is not good and that's why my PC is not good now so I hope I can fix it by uninstalling but this one takes a little bit more effort to install so I'm here in my download folder one here is without the installers this is the good one and this one is the other one that said this uh, CSU 17 and this one has nice installers and it seems exactly the same except this driver is like 2016 super old and when you go in this one that doesn't have the installers but if I go here in the this one is at least from 2016 so why they don't have the installers in this package I don't know but to install it you need to right click and then you say install and then it will do and that worked fine on this laptop yeah we need to do now first a factory reset so we're going to do that okay full reset is again hold the button and then here we already see um, factory reset and then we say reset all okay okay first we install the main firmware and confirm that it is off disconnect the power cable that's all I said bit of a hassle but I'm just gonna do what I say and then we need to change a switch well that switch is very very far away so I wonder if it would help if I just open the top if it doesn't then we know uh, this one does not have any warranty so I don't mind to open it but maybe you want to try it without opening and then you need something sharp and long because in this hole very very far away you need to put the switch to the outside yes that is much uh, better now we can just see the switch and then I don't need to do with a pin something sharp and maybe push in the cap there I can just switch it over and then we continue reading okay they explain again install the driver first okay we did that then they say you need to connect now the power external power we have here but do not switch it on because apparently we put it now in a special programming mode that the device should not power I think it's some sort of DFU mode I think it's called and um, okay let's just do that uh, I'm not sure if I need to connect it first do they say 
Okay, I can already connect it before applying the power. Already downloaded the software that we have here. I'm doing here the 2001 uh, version because I don't want like to skip that step. Uh, I have not powered on yet the transceiver. Also, I have not put in a power plug because we are not allowed to not allowed to. I'm just opening some of my USB stuff just to see if I plug it in what I need to choose. So I have it all open. Uh, this is going to go a little bit to the side. So I'm putting in already the USB. Make sure it is tight so it cannot go out. Okay, it says here COM6. So COM6 was added. Why I have two? Okay, five and six are added. Yeah, that is, I should have which one, the advanced or the enhanced. No, they say enhanced COM port I need to find. So that is COM5. So then we connect the power. is connected and then we can start the program that is this one and then we can filter what we want to do but we want to do the main first so I click on main and then it will probably filter and yes and then we need to configure and then I need to get the enhanced station so we put the enhanced I don't want to skip any steps and then you just say all right here we go So after we have clicked OK, we need to turn the external power off. Uh, yeah, that's maybe most easy way. Yeah, that is off. Then we move the switch back to the original position. Chuck. And then disconnect the USB. OK. And then we can try to switch it on and check if it worked. Okay, so we were on this version, the 1.7. So we should be now at 1.09. So switch it on. Oops. Okay, don't scare me here. Long push and we are indeed on 1.9. This one didn't change because we didn't do yet, and the LCD we didn't do because there is no use, it didn't change. Okay, go to the next step. Okay, then we're going to do the next one, that is the DSP firmware. That is that second one in that uh, line. We need to be sure that the switch is to the inside. Well, we already did that. It needs to be switched off, that is good. Use a standard USB cable. Okay. Well, we already power cycled it, so we don't need to do that again. Now we need to switch it on in a special mode. There is one thing that I can improve in this manual, because the, instead of saying you need to connect now the cable to the computer, because you want to know exactly at what time before you switch it on or after you switch it on, when you need to plug in the USB cable. But I mentioned here, use a standard commercially available USB cable to connect the transceiver to the PC, but they don't say do it now. But okay, so before we switch it on, we connect it just like we did before. So I put it in the same port. So then I should have again the five and the six. Let's see, yes, I have again the five and the six and the enhanced is the five. 
Okay, then I need to switch it on in a special way. I need to do the F and the C. F and the C. And then power it on. So F and C and power on. DSP writing mode it says. Then we want to do the DSP. Uh, I, I have the software still as it was. And okay well the panel are we not going to do so it will apply that filter we do 204 it is still on com5 com5 is indeed my enhanced here so i will just start to write it and we don't see anything on the screen Okay, disconnect the DC and disconnect the USB. Okay, okay, it's finished. I still see DSP write mode in the screen. I found the difference because in the screen it says uh, it said uh, just disconnect the DC power and then uh, take out the USB plug. Here it says after you click OK, here they say close, but it is clearly OK button. Press along the off button until it switches off. And then disconnect the USB cable. OK, disconnect the cable. Now we need to do a can and reset all after we have... Uh, yeah, here they said DC, so I switch it off here. I will also switch it off here. And now we need to do a reset all also. Our supply back on, switching the radio back on. Hopefully it restarts. It responds better to the power button, by the way, it seems. How to reset after the firmware or reset. We already did that one, so that was a long push. Go to the uh, reset factory. Reset factory all. Uh, maybe. Oh, I didn't do that correct the first time. You really need to push long on the reset all. Okay. But now we go back to the version. Uh, menu 18. And I would expect 1.9 and 1.4. Yes, we upgraded from uh, 0.203 to 0.204. So that worked. And the 1.1 I'm not going to do. So I will do the again for the 2012 update. Oh, and after I did that on the laptop, it uh, it's also Windows 10, by the way. I am now in the latest version without any problems. So that was a bit exciting, but if you just follow the manual and download the correct driver, I did that wrong, I clicked too fast, and I thought, oh, they are the same. The only difference is that there is no installer. Now the driver is terribly old, and if you use Windows 10 or 11, well, my Explorer keep crashing. I hope I can fix it, or I just need to reinstall it. But didn't break the radio. Follow the steps one by one, and it was a success. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time.